It was March 8th and we were off to the studio. I couldn't believe it. All the work was finally paying off. Well, we still had two days ahead of us in the studio, but it sure felt real. Dude, we're in the car, we're going to the studio. Dude. Woo! Yeah. Very excited. Um, I'm sleepy. Brian's sleepy. I am sleepy. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Adrenaline is going to kick in shortly. So we're going to start with uh, drums at 10.30, and then guitar, and then the rest. Brian is lost. Are we lost? All right, we're here. We're here. We're here. Yay! All right. Here's the studio. Dude, there's the kit. So we're here, and it's 10 o'clock, and we're going to get ourselves sorted out to start recording. You know, it was pretty surreal stepping into the studio and seeing gold records hanging on the wall. It was owned by Rich Dodson. You might know him from the Stampeders, 1970s group. We knew we were in good hands, and we knew we had our work cut out for us. What a rush. Our drummer arrived at 10 and started setting up for the session. The plan was to have him lay down the drum track over top of the scratch track, which was already set up in the system. Before getting in the studio to actually lay down the drum track, Brian had to walk our drummer through the specific hits so that when he got in the studio, he could match it up just right. Uh, of course, it's the same. Yeah, so that same thing, same thing. Tell you something that's been weighing on my mind. It's just too much to carry in with no thought of the time. You fall, you fall, you fall, you fall, you fall, you fall. Whenever you need somebody. Well, that was the recording process in Fast Forward. Believe me. It was 18 hours and two long days in the studio. What you probably didn't notice is Brian and I laying down our vocal tracks and the brass hard at work. You'll have to tune in next time to see more. Thanks for watching.